A few years ago, well, last year, we learned the terms windows and mirrors. Uh, it was a literary term, and I didn't know what it meant. I'm sorry, Ms. Butcher. <laughs> uh, absolutely no idea. So after a few weeks of having lectures, filling out worksheets, and answering questions, I sort of understood what it meant. A window represents seeing a new world through books. So like a new realm. Uh, imagine you are reading a highly interesting book. Uh, you get so absorbed that you completely forget about your own world and visualize what's in the book. You can read for hours and hours and never get bored of that. That's a window. Um, you open one and you get a completely new world. Now, a mirror is an opposite. Instead of letting you see a new world, you see yourself. Well, not your actual self, but like your inner self. Um, like history, your personality, your identity, you can see yourself staring right back at you from the books. Now this year's theme was generational echoes, and here I am talking about literatures, windows, and mirrors. Now what do these two things have in common? When I first heard the theme, the word that stuck out to me most was echoes, like generations are reverberating right back at you like similar generations throughout time. So I try to fit in with literature and history, thus windows and mirrors. Let me give you an example. I hope you have heard the term Gen Z and millennials. The Gen Z generations are people born between the mid 1990s and about 2010s. The millennials, on the other hand, are born between 1981 and 1996. How are they similar? Well, the millennial generations were known for their skyrocketing developments like technologies, social media, and computers. It was during this time when, they, when the platforms such as YouTube's, Facebook's were created. Now in the early years of 2010s, the Gen Z generations, Instagrams and Snapchats were created. I'm sure most of you use it. In less than a century, we expanded social media platforms throughout the whole world. Now let's focus on the term mirrors for a moment. Do you see the mirror here? The way millennials can see their younger selves, their developed work, their revolutionary technology reflected and expanding and evolving. If the millennial generations looked at a mirror, Gen, Gen Z would be staring right back at them. Now let's think about windows in generations. Remember, a window is seeing a new world. This example can, be om this example can almost be found in all generations. Imagine you are a baby boomer, someone born between mid-1940s and mid-1964. It is the era when technology was just starting to start, like the radios and the computers and the internet. Compare then and now. Imagine you are a baby boomer, and how would you feel when you see how much technology advanced today? It would be like a fantasy of metaverses, AIs, virtual realities, um, even phones, Instagram, Snapchats as well. It would be like stepping into a whole new dream. When we compare it in the past, it may seem like it was nothing at all. But to them, think, and thinking of the future and the advancing generations, it will surprise them out of their wits, out of their heads. One day, our advancing generations will surprise us as we have surprised them. Now, do you see the literature in the history? Older generations will look at us and they won't recognize their world but there are still some similarities coursing throughout time. Without their inventions, the younger generations couldn't advance further, like we advanced. They are still built upon the older generations, and recognizing just how different but similar we are, that's how we learn about the past or the future. Thank you.